You all know how much I love awful YouTuber apology videos, but today I've got something truly special to show you. This is the magnum opus of saying I'm sorry. It doesn't come from a YouTuber either. This comes from a basketball player, and he completely redefined the apology video meta. He made an entire apology documentary. I'm talking about Draymond Green. Now, I don't know how many of you are some red-blooded American, brewski, boofin, patriotic sports fans, but I'm going to break down the situation for those of you that aren't and don't know what I'm referring to. Draymond Green is a professional basketball player, plays for the Warriors, and recently he was filmed in practice punching his teammate after an argument. I can't show the video because YouTube will probably age restrict it for shocking and disturbing content, which it's not. So I'll just paint the picture with words here. So Draymond Green and Jordan Poole are at practice and then some words get exchanged between the two. I can't read their lips and the quality looks like it's straight out of 2001 off of a goddamn Motorola Razor. So the quality is fucking abysmal. Don't know what they said to each other, but they were some not nice words being exchanged. Perhaps Jordan Poole hit him with a Spongebob reference that he didn't appreciate. Something like, hey pal, you just blow in from stupid town. Then Draymond Green gets up in his face. Jordan Poole pushes him off, and in response to that, Draymond Green fucking cranks a mean one and lets a go-go gadget extendo knuckle sandwich fly, absolutely blasting Jordan Poole. I don't think it was a full-blown knockout, but Jordan Poole did hit the ground hard. Like, he went down harder than the UPS delivery driver throwing my packages at the door. But this is where this fight started and stopped. The team separated the two of them, and the video was leaked to TMZ. And this became a huge deal in the entire sports world. Afterwards, Draymond Green did issue an apology publicly, saying he was sorry for the whole situation and how embarrassed he was by it. But clearly he wasn't embarrassed enough because he decided to shamelessly make a documentary about this whole situation as well. The man made a full-blown, goddamn Michael Moore-style documentary on his punch of his teammate. It's so weird and goofy. I'm going to show that to you now, at least bits and, bits and pieces of it. But I also want to let you all know, if you're not familiar with Draymond Green, the guy has a reputation for being a bit of a douchebag. If you just type in Draymond Green hitting players in the nuts, you can watch full compilations of how many times he's kicked other basketball players in their ball sack. He's made a habit out of it. There's one player in particular, Steven Adams. I believe he's kicked him in his fucking jewels three times. Two times in one game, if I remember correctly. So he's got a reputation for being a bit of a dirty player and a bit of an asshole. So this was just a nice cherry on top of that already pretty bad reputation. On October 5th, Draymond Green and teammate Jordan Poole got into a verbal altercation during practice. The incident ended with Draymond punching Poole in the face. Yeah, they pulled out all the stops for this one, all the bells and whistles. They got a professional voiceover here, making it sound very official, professional. And uh, you would think most people in general would want to move on from a controversy like this. Just, you know, apologize, put your head down and ignore it. So that way we'll hopefully go away faster. But for some reason, Draymond and the whole team that put this piece together really like to roll around in the drama of this, making it a spectacle. I don't know what they thought was a good idea about this, making a documentary to explain the punch it's totally unnecessary i think everyone understands what happened here draymond got upset and punched his teammate it's very simple it's like the simplest story ever told yet they're making it seem like a very complex issue with very many moving parts to it that we don't fully grasp thus need a documentary to explain it to our little idiot brains here it it, it makes no sense to me they're just here trying to squeeze as much milk from this controversy as possible, just grabbing it by the tit to get as much juice from the squeeze as they can. I think you're initially upset, you know, uh, pissed off, which, which, is how you, which is why you have the reaction you have. You don't say. The reason you punch people is because you're upset and pissed off? Pff, fucking truly groundbreaking revelations here. My third eye is open. My mind is being expanded. Just please slow down here, Socrates. We're tackling some very profound and deep things now. <laughs> You're telling me there's a correlation between being upset and punching someone? No, that, no, no, what? Part of the process of why did this happen and walking yourself through why, um, the different things that can get you to why, uh, what took place actually took place. It's not that deep. I wasn't even there and I could tell you why this happened. 
because he hurt your feelings and you lashed out. You had a little temper tantrum and punched him. It's not a confusing situation that needs like a deep explanation. The only question I'd be asking is, why didn't you aim for his nutsack like you normally do? Now that you process what just happened, now you've processed the why. Now how do you feel and what do you feel about it? What in the fuck are you even saying? Jesus Christ, you punched your teammate. That's it. I don't think after the punch you immediately went into a sensory deprivation tank to meditate on it and really dig deep into the weeds and figure out, well, why did this happen and, and how am I feeling about it? Like, did you go immediately and see a psychiatrist or something? Like, what, what are you going on about here? <laughs> Jesus. Imagine Jordan Poole. You get punched and the guy who punched you makes a documentary about it. You already know Jordan Poole and the rest of the team are laughing at Draymond Green for this one. And rightfully so. The man is the protagonist of premium cringe right now. Uh, so you get at a time, you know, you give it some time to allow people to throw their opinion out. Which, quite frankly, I don't care about people's opinion. Yeah, this really seems like someone who doesn't care about people's opinion. He cares so little about your opinion that he made an entire documentary whining about the situation. That's how little of a fuck he gives about what you think about him. Now, please, uh, shed some tears for this forgiveness documentary he's made. I don't spend much time, I don't read, really read many tweets at all. And so I was just at home chilling with my children. If you want me to be honest with you, I still don't know how much the world may think it blew up. Sparked by the leak of the video, the incident did blow up. The classic, oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't think it was a big deal. I was at home with my family being a loving father. And in fact, I'm one of the best fathers on the planet. I'm not a bad guy. I, in fact, I was just so preoccupied being the best dad of all time that I didn't even stop to notice that people were upset at me for a video that was taken or something. I, you know, I don't even know if it was a big deal at all. I apologize to, to his family. For me, that is the task at hand, to, to rebuild um, trust in our locker room. I felt as a man, I felt as a leader, that I would do everything that I can to make this right. Or That's a clip from his like public apology when this first started blowing up, and I actually thought it was fine. He said, I'm sorry to Jordan, his family, his team, and then explained how he's going to try and make things right and make things better and get trust back in the locker room. And then a week later, he makes this absolutely insane documentary about the punch. So clearly something went awry there. The first response he had, I think, was okay. He's just like, you know what? I fucked up. It, it is what it is, and I'm sorry. And now he goes <laughs> full Hollywood here, sniffing his own farts, and makes a documentary surrounding this punch. It's on me to make sure we're headed that way. Top clarity. You know, you know what it is. I know what it is. Continue to move forward, put it behind us. It helps. Allows you to start the process. And get back to business. That's where I go from here. That's where we go from here. Gotta love how this video is supposed to be like an explanation for why it happened and a little documentary surrounding it, but it doesn't even do that. It doesn't do the bare minimum. He just says like, well, why did it happen? And it's the process of understanding why it happened, but never even says why it happened. He never even explains why he did it. I mean, everyone knows why he punched him. Like we all get it, but this whole documentary was built around the idea of, well, here's his chance to defend himself and give his side of, you know, what happened here and how regretful he is. But it doesn't even do that. But you want to know the best part of this documentary? It says nothing. It doesn't even make a point. It's just like, hey, here's Draymond Green, he punched this guy, and here's him moderately reflecting on it. And then he goes back to practice, and he says it's time to get back to work, and he hopes he could lead the team better now. That's it. That's the whole documentary. Like, It, it, it has no purpose whatsoever. It, it, it's mind-blowing that this got made, but regardless, that's pretty much where the documentary ends. It's, it's very silly. And I just wanted to talk about it because I think it's a, a wild set of circumstances here. Making a documentary about your outburst punching your teammate is such a bold move. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.